o'clock. Go ahead and get started with the quorum of the City Council here for our regular meeting. We'll call to order. Um, first item I have, uh, I'd like to make a short public address. Um, I've prepared a short statement. Um, I didn't get a chance to put it in the paper this week, but um, it will be in there. So if you don't mind, bear with me. <coughs> In the 16 months I have represented you on this council, your city has incurred, encountered numerous challenges. Personally, I am very proud of the manner in which your elected officials and city employees have negotiated each of those issues. We will undoubtedly face more in the future, and I have no reservation that they will be handled appropriately and professionally. As your mayor and a fifth generation citizen, I am honored to represent this city. The support you have shown me in all matters is greatly appreciated. I pray that I will be able to repay your kindness with my service. During my short time here, your city has undertaken many projects to improve its infrastructure and overall operations. Some of these are plainly visible, while others take place behind the scenes with all having a direct or indirect effect on you. Many of these projects are derived from increased regulations handed down from the various agencies that oversee your city. Upon the completion of these developments, I am certain that your city will be able to provide each of its citizens the best service available while complying with every applicable state and federal law. Your elected officials and city employees will endeavor to guarantee this to you. Controversy is nothing new to this or any other small municipality. Circumstances beyond our personal control intensify the issues that face us. We must all work together to resolve those issues correctly and respectively. It has indirectly come to my attention that some citizens are displeased with me, the members of this council, and its employees. One council member has already resigned and I truly hope it ends there. These positions are not glorious ones. The taxing effect on each individual has been multiplied a great deal recently. The, the daily obstacles the council and the employees face place all under great pressure. As your mayor, I will always encourage you to become engaged and better understanding the operations of your city. There will be disagreements with any course of action. Those disagreements that lead to disruptive behavior can be avoided. Our small community cannot withstand the bitterness that it often creates and simultaneously continue to move forward in a progressive manner. For those with questions or unresolved issues, I extend an invitation to visit with me, your mayor, about any sound topic concerning your city that you would like to discuss at a mutually agreeable place and time. I will try my best to get you an answer as swiftly as possible if I do not immediately know it. There may be answers to solutions that we have overlooked, and your input could very well resolve these issues. There may also be situations where we have to agree to disagree and carry on. I humbly request your assistance in allowing me to do the job for which I was elected. In permitting me to carry out that task, we clear our employees to do the jobs for which they were hired and better position this council to act, to always act in your best interest. Thank you. Uh, we'll move along to approving the minutes for our regular meeting and our special meeting. Does anybody, everybody have a chance to look at those? Any corrections to the minutes as presented? If not, I'd ask for a motion to approve regular minutes and special meetings. I'd like to move to approve both. Thank you. Second. Next motion. Chris Simpkins. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. Motion carries. Um, we have 
received a resignation letter from George Giles from his position on council and him as mayor pro tem. Um, I believe Tammy has a letter if anybody's interested in looking at it. Um, ask for a motion that we accept it with regret. I make a motion to accept it with regret. <coughs> motion. Michael seconds. All four, please raise your hand. All against, raise your hand. <coughs> Next item of business is to <coughs> nominate a mayor pro tem. I would suggest Billy Carter. Um, now open the floor for nominations. Next motion to nominate Billy. Christmas motion to nominate Billy. Is there, are there any more nominations? Any more nominations? We'll close the floor. Nominations. For those in favor of nominating Billy Carter to serve as Mayor Pro Tem, please raise your hand. All opposed? And Billy abstain. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Is, did no one second that? No, that no one did. Is there a second, second to that motion? All four? All opposed? George was our mayor pro tem. He was on the signature cards for our bank accounts and also for the safe deposit box. Um, <coughs> if the council wants to continue <coughs> having the mayor, the mayor pro tem, the city secretary, and the city administrator uh, on the checking accounts and the safe deposit boxes, <coughs> now ask for a motion to add Billy Carter to the checking account and safe deposit boxes. Make a motion added. Michael makes a motion to add her. Is there a second? Second. Chris seconds. All four, please raise your hand. All opposed? Motion back. I go into class. In your board packet, you should have a copy of. <coughs> they may not have the ACH deal. Okay. When we updated our billing system in February, <coughs> we talked about um, right now the drafts are printed out on paper and they're brought physically to the bank to be run through. It would be a lot easier if the system, which has capability to initiate an electronic entry that's transmitted to the bank or a paper one doesn't have to be printed. I think we've talked about that and it's been on the agenda a few times, but we never really got any further. Um, since we have the billing program up and running now, that has been brought up for a discussion again. Um, the bank needs the city to enter into an ACH origination agreement with it um, to originate those electronic entries. Um, the city already receives those entries in the normal course of business. Uh, we just need to have a origination agreement signed with the bank if that's something we want to do. That not only goes for uh, drafts for water bills, but it can also be used for credit <coughs> entries for payroll, so payroll checks aren't printed. Um, but, but they still have the choice if they want to Yes, it's not required. Okay. 